fuck living in a castle. This is where a real king would fucking live right here. Fuck a castle. I call this the pinnacle. Because when you hit the pinnacle, you're always on top.
Is that you, Leo? Ronnie? Hey. Ronnie, how you doing? I'm doing good. But you can see I, I had a little bit of a... Gun yeah, you can, uh... Well, you can see the little fuck that caused it. Oh yeah, I see it. Uh, it's gonna make for a good meal, you know. Yeah, Better good than, uh... Fuck, the canned food we've been eating is fucking probably expired for, you know. <laughs> fucking those. <laughs> That's what I mean, my fucking clothes. Three more. Fuck's sakes. Come on. Jesus. Like shit. Yeah, hey, bite yourself up. Thanks, Brian. You can't have your fucking pack on Michi Noko suit looking like that. It's very expensive. It's almost completely fucking ruined. Dude. Somebody would have had to pay for that. Hey, Roddy, why are you up there? Uh, could you could you go to my room on the top floor? I got a uh, fucking uh, little hand saw over in the fucking crate. Ah, uh, yeah, I can though. Bring that down for me. Appreciate it. How's it feel then? I mean, even though we uh, all slept on the floor last night, I just feel to have a place to call home now. Uh, it feels good, you know. I feel like uh, this is the beginning of something new for us. A fresh start, if you want to say so. <laughs> yeah. See a lot of good uh, opportunities in our future. Yeah, you and me both, my friend. For now, we should keep this place on the low, you know? We don't want to let anybody know about this. I will. It's like a fucking ghost town around here. Yeah, I'd like uh, to keep it that way for now. Yeah, at least we got things a bit more uh, set up and organized. Exactly. Hopefully the Reapers don't fucking find us up here. Ah, we don't got nothing to worry about with those guys. But man, no. I'm a man of my word, you know. I, we will have the backs, you know, if anything happens. But, uh, I expect them to do the same for us, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just talking about more the, uh, yeah. See quite a few people compared to us. We might, uh, accidentally let slip. What about the Reapers? Well, There's mean, only the, four of them. Well, I mean, yeah, no. Just, you know, they get about quite a bit just in case they're If we find the rest of so. our guys, yeah, if we find our guys, you know, then, uh, they're gonna be heavily outnumbered. Just gotta f figure out where the fuck everybody else is at. Maybe they're fucking dead. 
Really hope not. Yeah, I fucking hope not, though. There's a bit of a fucking rough entrance into here. I, mean, I don't know about you, but compared to back home, the things that are here, they just seem more fucking private and more stronger. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's fucking infected. Oh, the infected? Shit. I think they're going to become the least of our problems, if I'm being honest with you. I think we've, uh, you know, got it down pat on how to take these motherfuckers out. I know. Stood there in fucking ropes. Do you have any regrets, Ronnie? About joining this life? The regret I have is about the impact it's had on my wife and kids. Uh, yeah, I see where you're coming from. I can't, uh, I can't necessarily relate, you know, because I don't have my own wife, you know. I just always stuck with the Jersey Broads. <laughs> Bunch of hoos. Holy fucking ass. I would have met my wife when I was there. Uh, we both met when we were about fucking 18, 19. Yeah, we fucking love at first sight. But she understood yeah, the life. That's special. Well, my uncle, you know, the last thing he told me right before he left. He hugged me real tight, you know, he just told me the family was all that mattered. I might not, uh, I might not have many blood relatives alive, but, you know. Because of Nostra, this is my family. This is something we can be proud of. Well? You're my family, Ronnie. Vito. Puss. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. You're all my family, too. I mean, shit. The amount of things you all fucking been through together. There's no one else I trust more with my life than you are. Unfortunately, it's one of the horrors of this life, Randy. Walk into a room with your best friend, you might not walk back out. That's why we have rules, you know, they gotta be followed, they can't ever be broken. Yeah, no. It's, uh... Definitely an interesting life, that's for sure. You know, when I was just a soldier, there was this guy, you know, he, uh... He just worked for a, uh... A different family, you know. You know, he was over. He was located in the Bronx. We was going to war with these guys. So my boss, you know, Bonnie, he told me. He said, "We got to take these fuckers out. We got to strike first and make the first move." But he wanted me to be the one to take care of it. I told him, you know, don't worry about it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna look into it, take a couple guys with me, two or three guys, and you know, we'll go scope, scope out the club that he was staying in. We get to the club, and then, uh, it's fucking packed with people. Pe people that, uh, that I don't know. They didn't know me. I walked inside, and, uh, I see the guy in the back, you know, in like the VIP area. I'm over, I'm just sitting at the bar, you know, just minding my own business, having a little drink. And, uh, you know, I'm just scoping him out. I, I, I'll do this for the next couple days, you know. I'll just try to get it, uh, get eyes on and learn his schedule a little bit. Then one day when, uh, he was on his way home from the club, 
you know, he was walking inside his house. Me and the guys, you know, we rushed in there and we fucking kidnapped him. Throw him in the back of the trunk. Took him out in the middle of the fucking weeds. We stopped the car. You know, I got outside. Stepped outside the vehicle. You know, I went to the trunk. Opened it up and, you know, he was just looking at me with duct tape over his mouth, his hands tied up. I was a little nervous, you know. I've only ever taken one person's life before, you know. Just to earn my bones, you know, and get my promotion. But I understood my duties. I was gonna do what I, whatever I was asked to do. I was gonna do it. It's my fucking responsibility. Hmm. Take the duct tape off the guy. You know, so we can have, you know, one last conversation. It'd be a little, uh, it'd be, uh, disrespectful, you know, to just fucking kill the guy without, you know, looking him in the fucking eye, you know. Plus, he's, uh, he might not be a part of, our, of my family, but he's still one of us. He's still, you know, mafioso. This fucking guy... I'd, I'd never met anybody like this guy in my fucking life. He said, if you, you're gonna kill me, then you kill me. You follow your orders. You don't hesitate. You don't think twice about it. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm just sitting there looking at this guy, you know, like... He's about to lose everything. And he's just gonna accept it because he knows what comes with the life that we live. I'm we, we take him out. After he's gone, you know, we're riding home. I just kept thinking, like, we just killed the epitome of our fucking lifestyle. Is, is this what's gonna happen to me? Am I gonna fucking follow this code my whole life? Or is this gonna lead to me dying? I don't know. It might be. It might be the death of me. It might be what makes me live to a hundred. Who knows? But shit. All I know is... This is something that, uh... We don't have a choice in a man, you know? No. Once we took that oath... All the choices went out the window. The only thing matters is our lifestyle. And this secret society that we've built. These days it's harder than ever, you know, to keep up. You know, entire fucking society's falling apart. Not just ours. If we want to keep our society alive, we gotta help rebuild the rest of the world. We have to. Fucking. And if that's gonna be the death of us, then so fucking be it. Yeah. Well, fuck, I mean, I look back, my, uh, first Don Mongo. He owned a fucking bakery. And you know what we did, that bakery? We sold to, uh, you know, people who would come in off the street, but we also baked for the fucking old people's homes down the road. We also fucking supplied for a cheaper price for the fucking school, just, uh, go further up the street. By the community, we kept the fucking going, even though we made fucking bread. We helped out. You know, when uh, the first generation of Italians came to this country, you know, uh, they, you know, the mafiosos back then, they would just fucking terrorize the communities. I don't, I don't want us to do that. I want the community to love us. I, I don't want. To make enemies with everybody. How's that good for business? Right. It's not. Well, I mean, you gotta ask one. yourself, is it better to be feared or loved? Loved. Let me put it this way. You got the back of the community. You do the I want to do things that you don't fully agree with, you tend to turn a blind fucking eye. As long as you keep supplying good things to them.
think we're gonna be okay. Uh, well. I put the booze down too. I'm not drinking anymore. Look at me, I look fucking terrible. I don't look too bad. <laughs> you know, uh, you're my advisor, you know, I could trust you with anything in the world. Hmm. My right hand fucking man. I was thinking, uh, how would you feel to be the underboss? Uh, quite the undertaking. We need to we need to get our rankings back in order. Yeah. That puss, he's a bona fide soldier. I could say the same for Vito. But uh, we we gotta expand at some point in time. I'm not sure when. It could be a while from now, for all I fucking know. But we gotta get our numbers up. Yeah. You remember that group fucking uh, Blue Balls, whatever they call themselves? <laughs> Supposedly there's fucking 18 of the guys. They might have strength in numbers, but they don't They don't have strength in a fucking brain, you know what I'm saying? They don't know. <laughs> gotta outsmart all the people that we could consider our enemies. And we gotta keep, gotta keep our friends close. Maybe not physically, but you know, when it comes to our relationship, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep a tight knit group, you know. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what. Give me a day or two to think it over, cause I'm on it. You're asking me, but it's still a big fucking undertaking. I've been, I've done this before, and uh, I mean, times were very different then. When I did it, it was uh. A lot more challenging, but just give me a day or two to think. You don't have to accept this opportunity, but just know it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Last time I was the underboss it was when I had to go to LA. I was having the Benelli's. Where the other on the bus who was still around went through happy and eventually packed his bags and left. And I was dealing with a Don who was fucking bone idle and stupid. I'm not saying you are, but. Just, yeah, I hope you aren't saying that. Either. <laughs> I'm not. No one just, had to know. throw you off the fucking ledge just, right here. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, it really hurt me to do that. Well, it's just, I say. Past experiences type shit. Then before, and it was next to I a fucking shit show, so. Just give me a day to think about it. Hey, take your time. Take a fucking week if you got. <laughs> I know uh, Vito and Pussy, they're not fit for that position. They're like fucking cowboys, you know. A little too wild. You got a cool head, you know. That's what we need. But this, for a leadership position, you can't be too trigger happy, you know. But you can't be too weak either. You know what I'm saying, shit. Yeah. Come on, I just need a day or two to think it over, so. Take your time. Whenever, whenever you, uh, gotta figure it out, you know, just come see me in my office downstairs. Yeah, well. But while you think shit over, I'm gonna take his shit. I need to, uh... I gotta shit terribly, you don't even fucking understand. Fuck me. Well, I'm gonna go and, uh, 
bring up one of them crates and put a bit of the food in there. So we gotta wait for people to come up and pick for. Yeah, that sounds good. Even if I leave it at the bottom of the fucking stairs. Go first. Yeah, no, I don't want to catch fucking wind of the air. <laughs> Be a bowels while I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. Be a bowels while I'm going. Too bad. <laughs> 